the F-22 Raptor first took to the skies in 1997, but it didn't officially join the Air Force until eight years later. This fifth generation aircraft had impressive features like easy to repair engines, a hidden weapons bay, and radar evading capabilities. However, after 25 years, the Air Force, led by General Charles Q. Brown Jr., plans to reduce its fighter jet fleet, and unfortunately, the F-22 didn't make the cut. Despite being a top-notch aircraft, the F-22 faced a unique challenge. It was designed to counter Soviet fighters, but by the time it entered service, the Soviet threat had diminished. Let's go back to the 1980s, when the US Air Force introduced the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program to develop cutting-edge aircraft. Two companies, Lockheed and Northrop, competed with their prototypes, the YF-22 and YF-23, respectively. Although the YF-23 had some unique features like a V-shaped tail and potential stealth advantages, Lockheed's YF-22 was chosen. The decision was likely influenced by cost considerations, perceived risks, and the impressive maneuvers demonstrated by Lockheed's test pilots during trials. Despite ongoing debates among fans, the F-22 Raptor went into full-scale production, becoming a highly regarded and lethal fighter jet. Even though the Air Force believed Lockheed's design for the F-22 would be cost-effective, the reality was different. The technology used in the F-22 turned out to be more expensive than expected. When the F-22 entered service in 2005, there was no denying its lethal capabilities. With a length of 62 feet and a wingspan of 44 feet, the F-22 is similar in size to the F-15 Eagle. However, its unique diamond-shaped wings and large tail fins make it exceptionally maneuverable. The F-22's maneuverability is enhanced by Pratt & Whitney F-119 turbofan engines with thrust vectoring, allowing the aircraft to redirect its exhaust for superb handling. The computer-assisted controls enable the Raptor to perform incredible stunts, such as the signature falling leaf maneuver, a nearly vertical climb after takeoff. The Pratt & Whitney engines provide a maximum thrust of 35,000 pounds, propelling the F-22 to a maximum speed of Mach 2.2. It can also supercruise, maintaining supersonic speeds without afterburners, allowing for a wider deployment range for air-to-air -air missiles. What sets the F-22 apart is its stealth. To avoid reflecting radio waves back to enemy radar, the aircraft was meticulously designed for low observability. The continuous curves in its airframe scatter radar waves, and even landing gear doors and weapons bays have carefully designed edges to complicate radar detection. The F-22's weapons, stored internally in three compartments, further reduce visibility. Opening the weapons bays takes less than a second, ensuring stealth during missile launches. The aircraft's 20mm M61 Vulcan autocannon is concealed behind a retractable door, opening only when necessary. While the F-22's shape contributes to its low observability, special and classified radar absorber materials are also used. These materials make radar waves lose energy as they reflect off the aircraft. However, these radar absorber materials are expensive, heavy, and require significant maintenance. Well, if you've got some value till here, then please consider subscribing to our channel. The F-22 Raptor is a remarkable aircraft, equipped with advanced technology and capabilities. Its stealth features, achieved through radar-absorbent coating in specific areas, make it challenging to track. Unlike the B-2 stealth bomber, the F-22 requires less maintenance and can be worked on in regular hangars. Lockheed Martin stated that, from certain angles, the F-22 has a radar cross-section as small as a bumblebee. Introduced with cutting-edge avionics in 2005, the F-22's baseline software has 1.7 million lines of code, managing systems like a missile approach warning system, onboard radars, and electronic warfare. With six sensors providing complete infrared coverage, the F-22 operates in all weather conditions. Its ability to share information with friendly aircraft enhances battlefield integration, especially with other F-22s offering exceptional situational awareness. The F-22's production had a significant economic impact, creating around 95,000 jobs across 46 U.S. states. By 2011, approximately $70 billion had been spent on the program. While there were debates about its cost and future, the F-22 became one of the fastest, most maneuverable, and stealthiest aircraft. 
Despite international interest, the United States maintained an export ban on the F-22, citing classified technology concerns. The F-22 had its first combat mission in 2014 during Operation Inherent Resolve, a military intervention against ISIS. The aircraft had previously been involved in intercepting Russian bombers and a notable stealthy encounter with an Iranian phantom. The F-22 Raptors played a crucial role in combating ISIS in Syria. Over a year, they conducted more than 200 sorties, dropping guided bombs on over 60 ISIS positions near the Euphrates River. The F-22 also provided close air support for ground forces and prevented Russian aircraft from attacking American-allied Kurdish ground forces. In 2018, the F-22s were involved in the Battle of Kasham, responding to an attack by the Russian paramilitary group PMC Wagner alongside Shia militants. The F-22s, part of a large-scale response, showed a dominant force, resulting in significant casualties among Wagner contractors and enemy militants. Another notable mission occurred in February 2023 when F-22s intercepted a mysterious Chinese spy balloon over U.S. airspace. The balloon was taken down with a short-range air-to-air missile, preventing it from reaching populated areas. Additionally, F-22s shot down two unidentified flying objects, described as silver and cylindrical, over Alaska and Canada, although the wreckage was not recovered. The F-22 Raptor has an impressive service history, never being shot down in combat and excelling in training missions. However, despite its stellar performance, the F-22 has faced challenges in securing its place in the U.S. Air Force. Originally chosen over a competitor for being cheaper, the F-22's production turned out to be more expensive due to delays and the introduction of new technologies. Initially, plans were for 750 units, but due to rising costs, the Air Force reduced its order to 339, with the U.S. Navy withdrawing interest in a carrier version. As the focus shifted to counterinsurgency in the Middle East, the need for an air superiority platform diminished. Only 187 F-22s were produced, and production lines were repurposed for the newer F-35. The F-22 lost attention as the military favored the F-35 for its versatility and export potential. Now, talks of retiring the F-22 by 2030 are circulating. The main reasons include outdated avionics and the emergence of the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program, a sixth-generation air superiority platform. NGAD aims to integrate with drones and boasts modern avionics, with plans for service by 2030. Despite being a deadly aircraft, the F-22 faces retirement, not from rival aircraft, but from its own replacement. The NGAD program signals the end of the F-22's dominance, highlighting the rapid advancements in aviation technology. The F-22, born in a different era with a hefty price tag, may see early retirement, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most lethal fighters in history. Well, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome tech content. I'll see you in the next one.